it's Jay and the day has finally come where I'm going to be teaching you how to edit yourself into movies and TV shows using CapCut. This will be a three-part series, three episodes, and this is part one, the basics. In this episode, I will be showing you the equipment that I use and how to chroma key using CapCut. Now, let's get started. Now, equipment. I want to say that you do not need expensive equipment, an expensive camera, expensive lighting, expensive anything. You do not need anything expensive. You can do this all with your phone. I have been doing YouTube for 10 years and when I first started, I was using my Kodak little teeny tiny camera and my iPad. And since then, I have worked my way up to better equipment, better camera, better lighting or lighting in general because I didn't have any and editing software. For all of my videos, I film using the Canon 90D. This was the first thing I ever bought with my first YouTube paycheck. This was an expensive one, uh, but this was the first thing I ever bought. I needed, I needed a new camera and that is what I'm filming right now. And sometimes I use my Canon T5i, which was the first camera that I have been using not the first camera that I've been using but I got this for Christmas in 2015 so this is like my first Canon sometimes I will use my iPhone I have the iPhone 14 Pro which you can use if you have an iPhone or an iPad you can use that to film your video the main piece of equipment that you will need is a green screen obviously that is the whole point now I have two options I use a fabric green screen and I use a paper green screen. I started out with the fabric green screen. I Both of them are from Amazon. And I started out with the fabric green screen and then I decided to use a paper green screen. And I go in between both. You can see that when you watch the bloopers of my videos or behind the scenes. Prefer a paper green screen over a fabric green screen because the paper is very smooth. Whereas the fabric, you'll have wrinkles and lines and you can iron those out and steam them out but a paper green screen is just so much better and if you don't have the money to buy a fabric green screen or paper green screen you literally could go to the dollar store and get green poster boards or the craft store and get a green sheet of fabric another recommendation is that if you want to film something where you're wearing green you can't do that with a green screen or else you're going to be a floating head instead you would be using a blue green or a blue screen not a green screen a blue screen which i've used before i used to use softbox lights and i've used those for many years but now i have these lights i don't know what they're called they're so easy to set up and you can adjust the brightness i also have a ring light this was just a cheap 20 dollars ring light from amazon and you can adjust the settings and then also sometimes i use colored lights and i really use them in my stranger things video when i needed light on my face like different colors in the scene whatever you don't need that you don't need a ring light you don't need expensive lighting if you have a window that's great. You can use just lighting from your window, the sun. Now that I've went over the equipment, it is time to jump into CapCut so I can show you the very basics, the very beginning, the key thing that you need to know, which is chroma keying using CapCut. I will be using the desktop version of CapCut. It is my preferred version of CapCut. There is also the website and the app the app is much more convenient because you know if you're filming with your phone then it's like right there you can do it all but i use the desktop version all the time and this is what the main focus the main version i'm going to be using in this so i have my clips already imported in the timeline i'm going to be editing myself into the lunchroom scene from the first twilight movie as a cullen staring into bella's soul what you're going to do is you're going to go to cut out in the video panel and you have three options. You have chroma key, customized, and auto cutout. You could use auto cutout, but sometimes it's a hit or miss. So you're going to use chroma key if you want to. I mean, you could do auto, doesn't matter. Uh, and then you're going to use the color picker and then you're going to select green. And then you're going to adjust the strength. So, ooh. Ooh. And as you can see, keying in CapCut is the easiest thing. And just for and gigs, I am going to be showing you 
how to use the auto cutout and show you that sometimes it's a hit, sometimes it's a miss. So how is everyone doing today? Okay. Oh my gosh, that worked out a little bit better. Did it get my feet? So as you can see, the auto did get my chair, but it's very... See, sometimes you'll get like green spots. This is why I don't really use auto. Sometimes it does work really good if it's just like solid green, but here I'm moving a little bit. I'm sitting in a chair. Oh yeah, that... Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. It's a hit or miss. In the next episode, I will be teaching you how to move your subject using keyframing in your scene. Thank you, CapCut, for sponsoring this video. And if you liked this video, make sure to comment down below, subscribe, hit the notification button, follow all of my social media, and I will see you guys next week with episode two, where I'll be teaching you how to move your subject using keyframes.